Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we're gonna work on the words right here. Alright, we're gonna add two words right here and if the player has an X in hand and the player aim towards the word using the X only then in that case we're gonna make the word fall to the ground. Alright, and if the player doesn't have any X then we will do nothing. So first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna move right down below. Alright, this is the X okay right here add a layer to it by the name of x then select it again and add the x layer to it okay after this we are gonna add the words so for the words what we are gonna do is right here I'm gonna create a 3d cube alright let's move this cube let's first of all resize it so I'm gonna resize it like this and then move it there okay make this 1.6 and the other one as just 0 0.06 alright when you do that then move it to the door like this and make sure that you rotate it a little bit and then increase its size back again like this alright then you can duplicate it and rotate it in this direction and move it down for example right here okay so this will be the wood you can also change its name from cube to word for this one as well word and move both of these words inside the key holder and then we need to add a material to it so for the material as you can see we have this package right here styled word texture if you click on the materials then click on blank as you can see right here we have this blank material so you can drag and drop it to that one and then to this one as well so as you can see this will be our word right here okay once you add the word and the material then click on the scripts folder in the scripts click on door folder then right here create a c sharp script by the name of word blank okay click on both of these words and drag and drop this script to it okay after that just double click on it to open it up and right here we're gonna remove the start and update method and at the top we're gonna add a public float by the name of fall force this will be the force applied to make the word fall off alright by default let's set it to 2 okay then create a private bool by the name of is falling set it to false then a private static integer by the name of fallen blank count and set it to zero this will be the static counter to keep track of fallen planks all right for example right now we have two planks attached to the door so when we remove the first one and then the second one we're gonna keep a counter and when the second one fall off after that our door will be opened and we will play the cut scene alright so that's why we are keeping track of how many planks are fallen then make update method in which we will make the plank or you can say the wood to fall so first of all we're gonna check if the plank is mark 2 true or right or you can say if this is falling is mark 2 true so if his falling is true then we will apply force to make the plank or you can say the wood to fall so for that we will use the rigid body all right we didn't add rigid body to the words yet but don't worry we will add it so rigid body rb equals to 
game object dot add component actually right here we are adding it okay or you can add it manually if you want so after this we will say rb dot add force we will say minus transform dot forward multiply that by the fall force and then we will say force move dot impulse and then we're gonna set the is falling to false all right then we need to increment the fallen plane counter and check if both planks have fallen so for that the fallen plank count will plus plus when would fall then we're gonna check if the fallen plank count is greater than or equals to two if that is the case it means that we are ready to play the cutscene but for now we don't have anything so we just gonna show a message in the console that door unlocked fully or something like that all right then we need to make a method right down below by the name of make fall and in this method we will just simply set the is falling to true that is it all right right now when we play the game you will notice that nothing will happen because we don't have anything in order to say that the player has an X and when the player has an X then when we click click the mouse left button on these words then make these words fall we don't have any code for that so in the next video we're gonna do that so see you guys in the next one